Hi, this is Shane and welcome to a brand new series on my channel. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a while. There's not a lot of series on how to play The Sims. Most people just go in and play it. And to be honest, it is kind of intuitive. But then, um, it's like I've been playing The Sims for years. For quite a long time. I don't want to think about how long I've been playing it, but I've been playing it for quite a long time. I've been playing since Sims 2, so that's back in 2004, I think that came out. But I've been playing since then. I've played The Sims 1, kind of, on and off, but not how to the level that I play The Sims now. And, you know, you go with each new game that comes out, you go in principles are basically the same and you know you go in you play your game but then I've now got friends asking me but how do you play and it's got me thinking so how really do you play I know how to play because I've been playing it for years but then if you're brand new to the franchise how do you get into it so I've decided that I'm going to do a a little tutorial series I'm going to start in create a sim and create you know create a sim and then put them into the world and then you know you just follow your follow you know our sim through the first basic stages of how to keep them alive how do you earn money how do you find um you know friends and you know sometimes it might lead on to something else to you know to having a rom romantic relationship because a lot of people play the sims in order to have a family and have a legacy going, which is something that's a term that you will hear a lot with The Sims legacy stories, legacy challenges, legacy games. And basically, it's how long you can get that your your family to last. So if you start with Sim A and Sim B and they get married and they have children, you follow your that Sim A and B's family all the way down to the 10th generation. And that is basically the legacy challenge in a nutshell. You know, some people, they do that. Other people do different things. But, you know, it all comes back to how do you play the game? So I'm going to show you. First of all, when you start up your game, you will get a loading screen like this. Before, they used to have the news, like right here in the middle. But they've changed it now. I'm not sure which update did that. I have... All the all the stuff pack, all the stuff packs, all the game packs, all the expansion packs, and I have all the free stuff. I pretty much have anything that is Sims related. So you open up your game, and this depending on what you have, you may not have all the icons on the side. I think you will still see the icons, but they won't be. They'll be in grayscale rather than in color. And when you hover over them, it will tell you. It might tell you you don't own this content yet, but it will tell you what it is just in case you want to. But Origin is always having sales. You know, they had one recently for The Sims anniversary. They usually have one, um, they have some during the summer. You know, you have to keep checking back. And usually you can get some good deals on bundles, different bundles and game packs and stuff packs and so on. So it's always worth checking. So you have your screen. We want to play a new game. So you have here new game and load game. Once you've created a game and you want to load your stuff, you would click here. But when you start off from right from the very beginning, you click on new game. This is create a sim or CAS, K C A S CAS for short. And you are given you're presented with a randomly generated sim and up here you this is where you would have all of their physical traits so you can say what life stage they're going to be you can start from toddler and go to child teen young adult adult and elder so if for example if you were creating a whole family you could create a mother a father and 
their children. You don't have to. You can start with a single sim. You do you do what you want. I mean, the options are limitless, but you can do everything here from this screen. Here you would have the symbols to change male and female, and if you're not sure what things are, just hover over them, and it will give you, you know, it'll tell you what it is. So, you know, you've got, you can change their voice, so it can only be very deep, or go all the way up. It's a quite high-pitched. I mean, to be honest, I don't really take much notice. <laughs> and also, you can change their walk style. So they can have the default walk style, and you just go through. Actually, it's quite funny if you watch them from the back. But just turn him round. So we had the perky walk, the snooty walk, swagger. And, you know, you can change them if you want. Or you can just, you know, leave it as is. But it's quite fun to see, you know, what you can change it to. Let's give him, I think I wanted him to have a swagger. Is it swagger? Quirky, snooty, swagger. Yeah. Okay. And what's that one? Oh, creepy walk. Yeah. <laughs> but you can go through, you can see what you want. I mean, the whole point of how it, of the sim is that you can customize your sim to do whatever you want it to, whatever you want them to do so then you can go into oh sorry i forgot this you can either randomize a name so you click up here you can either randomize a name or you can type in a name i'm going to randomize it so van Gerald? Doesn't really look like a Gerald. Luciano Tyson. Does he look like a Tyson? No, he doesn't really look like a Tyson. What's your name, Sim? What are you going to tell me? Kale. Vincent. He looks like a Vincent. And let's randomise your last name. Vincent Hairston. There you go. Well, he's, he's got a beard and stuff. I'm going to keep the beard because I like facial hair on, on my Sims. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm just weird like that. So, you go in and you can change all aspects. So if you click on here, face, it will give you, like, you can change, you can either go for the default things to change how their face looks, and it will, whatever colour your sim is, it will change it to that sim. Or you can pick one of the faces, so for example, I might like this face, but I want him to be darker. Or I might want him to be red. Or green. Or blue. As you do. But I think I'm going to go for quite a traditional looking sim. So you can go for that. And also, when you hover over things, you see that some of them come up with an X. That means that that particular thing is applied. So for example, facial hair. He has it applied. You can take your, you can take off things so that you can see what you're working with. Basically, hair. Take off his hair, and whatever you want to work with, you just click on that area. So I wanted to go in the clothes section, so I've clicked on his clothes, and so take off his top, his bottoms. Accessories would cover the socks and the shoes, and when you're finished, you're left with a sim there in their underwear. If you were, if you have a lady, a female sim, the same thing would happen. When you click off everything, you are left with a sim standing there in their underwear. Nothing, you know, nothing too radical. Right, let's change you back because I want you to be a male. There you go. And then you have a blank canvas and you go from there. So either you can use, you click and drag to, you know, do different things on your sim. So you can make his waist smaller, make his shoulders wider, make his thighs smaller, make his calves bigger. You know, if you wanted to, you could give him a bit more, you know, junk in his trunk if you wanted to. You could decide he doesn't want it. You can change the size of his head as well. 
think you can make the face longer. Some things are a bit more subtle than others, but you go and you have a bit of a play around. But if you don't want to do that, you have templates, default templates that you can do. So it goes from, you know, average, pear-shaped, uh, what's that? Oh, his shoulders are a bit wider. Um, to a bit more heavy set, or, you know, ripped doesn't really matter. Or you start with something and you can redefine it. So you can say, well, I want him to be not so muscular, but a bit more defined so that, you know, you can see his, have that kind of triangle shape. I could pull in his shoulders because I might decide I don't want him to have, you know, huge gorilla shoulders. But, you know, like I said, you go in, you play with it and you can change your skin tone. And then if you want, you know, like fine control over your set, like on their face, you can go in, you go into detail edit mode, and then you can change things like their eyes. So, you know, you, I might decide I want to give him a bit more slant on his eyes. I like to go in and give my sims a bit of up tilt on their lips. So it looks like they're always smiling. You might decide you want to change their nose. And everything is on a slider, so you just click and drag. And the nose... Can I pull it up? No, I can't pull it up. Oh, there. No. Sometimes when you make changes, you've got to look on the side, because it doesn't look like you're doing anything. But when you actually, you know, look, and then you realise, oh, he's got a huge nose or something. Some things you can't change. When you can't change it, it will change to a a kind of ready colour. His eyebrows, I think. Yes. And then when you finish, you just click on the outside of it, and it will go back to full body. Okay, so... Let's see, now you've got things like hair, you can give them facial hair, you can give them hat, or them I should say, because it depends whether you've got male or female. And um, none of the options are gender exclusive. So, for example, if you have a female sim but you want to give her a beard, you can give her a beard. It's not gender separated. Because um, quite a lot of games, they will, you know, you go and you want to make a woman, but you might decide, okay, well, I want to give her a beard. But you can't. But on The Sims, you can do, they're very, you know, there's, they're very gender fluid. So I want to give him a beard. Let me see, I think I'd probably do this one. He looks, yeah, I like that on him. I'm not going to leave him bald, but I think I will give him quite a short haircut. Usually I go for longer hair on males. Is that short? Yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah. That definitely looks... He looks like a Vincent. But yeah, you can... You know, you spin them round. You can either grab and move your mouse to spin them around. Or you can use the arrows on the bottom. And spin him around. And just to illustrate what I was saying about the hair you can filter things this little button here on the side so you might decide well okay i want you know i want all of them and it will bring up all the hair from all the categories because i found that some of the hair even though it's categorized as male it looked better on women and vice versa so you know as i said it's all very gender fluid you can do whatever you want with your sim and you can filter things by category well, in length, it, that's of course about the hair. Um, texture, so afro texture, straight or wavy. Fashion choice, male or female. Um, content that you have, purchase or custom content. And custom content, I will go into, that's basically custom, custom content is content that is created by um, players of the game and not by not official content by EA and um, 
I have to admit the Sims community is really good when it comes to custom content or CC. You'll probably hear it called as well or see it written down. And you can get tons and tons and tons of stuff. I, Back when I was playing Sims 2, I used to spend hours looking for CC and downloading it into my game. And it got to the point where it would take about a good half an hour for my game to load because there was so much stuff it was there trying to load. But you can find there's a lot of talented people out there creating um, hair and clothing and items and even like things to enhance your gameplay so you can find like extra traits and all that kind of stuff but as I go along I'll explain some of it to you but custom content I'm not going to really touch on that right now but if you have CC in your game you can filter it out and you can also filter by whichever packs you have so if I wanted to create a sim but I only wanted to use things from the spa day pack and seasons then I could do that and it would bring up the little icon associated with that pack and then I could see, well, okay, these are all different things that I can give my sim. So also, all right, let's come out of that. And let's give you some clothes, Vincent. So you have, um, that's what, eight different categories. And for each category, you see, a when you click into the category, you'll see that little triangle up above if you click on it you'll see a plus a one and then a plus each number that comes up there is an outfit for your sim so you can create you might want to give your sim two or three different everyday looks so every time they change into an everyday look they might do they might wear something different because in real life you don't wear the same clothes over and over and your sims don't have to either and you can do that for every single category, or you might decide I really can't be bothered and I just want one outfit for every day. You can change the hair to be dependent on a category as well. So when you're in the hair section, again, you've got the different hairstyles. So for example, you might have a female sim who has long hair, but then when she's sleeping, she might tie it up in a bun to sleep in or when she's working out or when she's swimming. She wants to have it out of her face, so you can give her a tied back style instead. You know, like I said, it's all down to creativity. So let's give him some clothes at least. Um, Vincent is a very laid back guy, so I think he'd have a very casual style. So you can either scroll through. This is what you have, is all the clothes that you have. If you have custom content, it will show up here too. I don't have any, um, I have a mod that um, enhances your enhances your sim's traits, so that's what I have installed, but I don't have any custom clothes or hair or any creator sim items, so there's nothing that's going to show up here. But if you do download different hair or clothes or um, facial hair, hats, anything like that, anything creator sim related it will show up here and it will have a little custom icon to show you that it's custom content i believe it's a folder i haven't just i haven't downloaded a lot of um custom content clothing but i think it's a folder to show that it's custom content so let me see so yes vincent he's very laid back so i think he you know sweatshirts and jeans now when you decide on what you want you click on it and that will put it on him when you hover over it you'll see a some of them you'll see a bar appear at the bottom and you can click on it and it will show you the different swatches you can click on it and it will appear on your sim or you can just hover over it and the and the um the icon will change all right so i think i prefer these with the logo i think that one yeah that looks like vincent so he's got his top and let's give him some bottoms he's very much a jeans guy so let's scroll down if you like i said if you hover over it will give you the category jeans click on that and these are the jeans that we have options for but the jeans that i want i'm not really seeing them i think they might be female jeans or in the female category so i can take off the filter and then it will give me all the jeans Let's see, where are those jeans? 
That wasn't that one. It was a ripped one, but it's not that. I can't see it now. I think it might have been that one. Is that female? Let's have a look. Uh, fashion choice. Let's just click female. Yeah, I think those are female. But there was another pair of jeans that always that always showed up in the female section. No, that wasn't it. Yeah. Yeah, those look good. I found that some of the jeans, some of the female jeans, looked better than the male jeans. That's one complaint that most simmers, long-time simmers have had, that they don't have a lot of stuff for male sims. Okay, so we've got accessories. I want to give him... I mean, you've got different things like watches. I'm not going to give him a watch because you're not really going to see it. Actually, I might do. Let's give him this one. Um, and with a green face. You're not going to see it because it's on a long, a, he's got a long sleeve thing. But when he goes into something short sleeved, you should be able to see it. And also, you've got things like bracelets, gloves, rings, leggings, or socks. We'll give him socks. Give him sports socks. And white sports socks. And shoes. I think I'm going to give him high tops. Uh, let's see. And also, if you have boots, if they're supposed to go on the outside of the trousers, or leggings, or whatever they're wearing, it will go on the outside. And it doesn't clip. So if it's supposed to be tucked in, it will be tucked in. But then if it's supposed to go under, it will sit under. Which is very handy. <laughs> okay, let's give him these work boot type boots. Yeah, that's definitely Vincent. And then once you've decided your look, you have lots of different things like with what you want his formal look to look like, um, sleepwear, party, good grief. Sometimes when they when they generate outfits, the Sims are kind of okay. I mean, socks and flip flops, no, not the greatest fashion look. Hot weather stuff, if you have the seasons um, pack. Swimwear. Oh, actually, the swimwear is quite decent for once. And cold weather stuff. That's not too bad either. Okay, I want to change the formal. But I don't want to go through the hassle of having to pick trousers and a top and whatever else. So you have something called the full body area. Not full body, sorry. Starred looks. Body. Wrong thing. Starred looks. That's it. And it will give you styled looks. You get that for every, I think, almost every um, category. And if you don't feel like putting something together yourself, you can try something. So you can either put it on a monocle. Really? Ooh. You can put it on your sim. Or you can hover over the swatch to see. And to be honest, I do like this, but I don't like the monocle. So I can always click it click it on him so that he's wearing it. And then go to, click on his face, go to accessories. And you'll see he has the monocle. Click on the X and it disappears. Because I don't want him to have a monocle. He's, you know, he's not a monocle kind of guy. And you go through, well, I like his athletic stuff. Where's his watch gone? I thought he was wearing a watch. I may have clicked that off. Sleepwear. Uh, at least he's not wearing glasses. A lot of my sims, when you go into sleepwear, they're wearing glasses. And it's like, you don't wear your glasses to sleep. Take off the top. And let's just give him trousers. Pajama bottoms. Nice pair of pajama bottoms. Party. Let's go back into style books. Actually, that one isn't too bad. The first one. Yeah, I like that for him. That's cool. Swimwear, yep, that's cool. Hot weather. 
Actually, I like that. I'll probably change his shoes. Uh, where is... I don't want flip-flops. I want something a bit sturdier. Cool sliders. And we'll give him red ones. He's got red sliders. And cold weather. I like that. Not so much the trousers. Yeah, that could work. And again, if you just decide you want to randomise stuff, click on the dice and randomise it. You'll see the dice appearing all over the place. Click on it and randomise it. Here you have randomised from the gallery, so you could br it will bring it will bring down something from the gallery. Little eye, hold on, let me go to yeah. So if you randomise from the gallery, you've got a sim, and it will put in a name if they have a name, and you'll see here there's a little eye. If you click on that, it will give you all the information. So your the Sim's name is Carrie Hamlin and it's by Lane Babe. I think that's Lane Babe. So either you can save that household or you can say that you like it or you don't have to use it. If you don't like it, click on the left arrow, undo, and it will go back to whatever you have. But you have so many different options because I didn't show you the gallery, did I? When we come back out, I'll, I'll show you the gallery. So, okay, so Vincent, I've got his clothes. I'm not going to give him lots of stuff, but you can spend hours and hours in Creator Sim. And then now you have his aspiration. So you have nine, no, sorry, 12 different aspirations that you want your Sim to do. I am usually pretty boring. I will usually either pick family or knowledge. Sometimes I've done location or food or creativity but I don't really deviate from that if you want to give yourself a bit of a challenge you can always give them something to do that you've never played with before but you know I'm going to go with what I usually do click on family and then once you've clicked on family for their aspiration you can divide it will do it sometimes it divides up into little um, subcategories and you pick which one you want your sim to do so they can have a big happy family they can have a family that succeeds in life a super parent or a vampire family i think we're going to create the big happy family we want him to have a happy family so once you've picked the aspiration you will get a trait that goes with that particular aspiration so he has the domestic trait which sound they like their they will see their familial relationships grow stronger, faster. And then you can pick three other traits for your sims. So, let's see. When you click on the, on the question mark, there's four different categories and there's a number of things in that category. And that will be, that will bring the, the basis of their personality. So, you look through, I mean, they're all pretty, um, self-explanatory really but you decide what you want them to be um i think vincent's going to be cheerful because he's you know he seems like a happy happy sim um i don't want any of these particular ones let's see he's ambitious no um i think he might like the outdoors i don't know yet Let's have a look and see what else we can find. Family oriented, that's a good one to have. And good as well. I think I'll make him good. You will see that when you click certain traits, other traits become greyed out. So that means it can, and it will tell you what it conflicts with. So hates children, conflicts with family oriented. You can't want a family but hate children. Or mean, conflicts with good. Conflict, but if you want to, you can, um, you know, make a sim that you don't usually make because usually my sims are good, they want a family, they're very cheerful, that kind of thing. But if you want to give yourself a challenge, you can make a sim that's, you know, self absorbed and a loner or an, and jealous or non committal or paranoid or, you know, anything like that. So, it, you know, like I said, you can do whatever you want, right? It's up to you. 
So if you want to start with a single sim, that's great. However, what you can also do is make a family and you click on add a sim. And I think Vincent and, and also if you want to give them an animal, you would do the add a pet. I think we'll do that because I don't want Vincent to have anybody else, but I do want him to have, have a pet. But if you wanted to make a husband and wife, you could do that here. So you'd add a new sim. Let's just add somebody else quickly. And here, edit relationships. And it will show you what relationship they have to Vincent. So I want, I might want this young lady to be Vincent's wife. So you could change it and say, actually, Vincent is her husband. And it will change things accordingly. But I don't want to do that. So we are going to hover over it, click on the X, delete the sim and it will give you a nag screen you say yes and she's gone so anyway i want an animal a pet and again you the options are the same kind of thing you can add a cat you can add a dog or you can make a mixed breed i think i'll make a mixed breed because i've never done that one before oh okay so you can create a child between unknown parent or choose a breed oh maybe I can make a labradoodle so if I do lab, la oh you've already got labradoodle so if you do I, can, I know there's something called a double doodle so we're going to make a double doodle so a labradoodle so and, and pick a pet really can I not do that Okay, I have to say yes. And then choose a breed. And again, Labradoodle. Click, say yes. And create a child. And we have a female child, a female dog. We've got a puppy. Oh, she's so cute. But she's a double doodle. Actually, I don't think I'm going to change anything about her. I quite like her. Yeah, but again, you can randomize, but I'm not going to change anything because she's really cute. And you can change the breed, you can change their tail, you can change their coat and pattern. So, and then you can do custom coats and patterns. So, for example, if I want to change, swap out this grey for maybe a light brown, which looks a bit strange. Again, if you don't like it, you just click on the undo. Okay, um, that one. Let's see if we change it to that. Okay, so then she'll be mostly... Actually, I want a browner colour. Yes, mostly brown with grey and black. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Then you can change your fur to be um, quite puffy, which is what it was already, I think. Or that's long hair and short hair. See, I don't really have a pet in real life. <laughs> you can tell, long hair or short hair, but I want long hair on her. She looks cute and fluffy. And then you can go into paint mode and you can, you know, paint whatever you want on your animal. So if you wanted to, I don't know, because I'm not very, and it will do it on both sides. So you don't have to worry about mirroring it or anything. And also, you can put your dog into different poses. So, for example, if you wanted to see what the front of her looked like, I could I could have done a heart. So if I go like that, a bit of a tied heart, but a heart. Then you can get her to sit up, and you can see what it looks like when she sits up. And then you get her to lie down on her back, and you can see. And of course, turn! Doesn't want to turn. There you go. You can turn it so you can see the you know what it looks like but i am not that creative so i'm not going to bother with that okay you can get out of that position now my labradoodle and also you can change their traits just like you can with the humans so i think i'm going to change it from uh, i don't think i'll make her stubborn but she's going to be friendly because she looks like a friendly dog. A glutton? Could be. 
Playful. I like playful. Um, you've got smart. You've got sleuth. Actually, I might... Yeah, sleuth. I think I'm going to make her smart as well. But again, you have some things that are aggressive. That are, sorry, not aggressive. That are greyed out because they conflict. So aggressive, they say it conflicts with friendly. And adventure, and now adventurous isn't greyed out. It just looks like it. But no, I think she's going to be friendly. She's going to be a glutton because, you know, she likes to eat more. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. Playful, independent. In the less likely to be constant attention. Actually, I like that one. Yeah. You know, a pet that looks after itself. That's what we all need. And then... I oh know, she's a Labradoodle. Actually, no, let's change it to... Uh, lab, labra... No, we want... Double Doodle. That is so small. I can't believe how small that is. Double Doodle. Alright, so her breed is Double Doodle. There you go. And then, um... Let's give her a name. You don't have to give her a last name. So I'm not going to. But she looks like... I don't know. Let's just generate something. Chrissy? No. Yogi. She does look like a Yogi Bear. I think we'll we'll go with Yogi after Yogi Bear. Um, and again, you can change what they sound like. Oh, okay. See, this is a bit new territory for me because I don't usually create pets. I just leave as is. And then those are the different life states. Edit relationships. Okay. I guess if you created other animals, you could say, well, yes, this is Yogi's brother or sister or, you know, parent, whatever. Okay. And of course, you can change it to male and female. So this is going to be our family now. So we have Vincent and we have Yogi. So once you've finished everything, you kick on play. And they will give you a, a picture. If you don't like the picture, you can click on randomize portrait. Although I kind of like that. There's no way you, that you can go back. I think if you probably click through. Because usually I will just... Okay, that's the only thing it will let me take. All right. Well, then, let's, let's just do that one. <laughs> but sometimes with the... When you create Sims, it will give you a number of different poses. And then once you've finished, you save and play. If you have the seasons pack, it will ask you what season do you want to play in. I usually just start with spring and work my way through. And then you click OK. And now it will you want to select a world to move into. Um, like I said, I have everything, so it gives me all the worlds. I think in particular pack, you're not going to get all the worlds. So some of them would be greyed out, and it will say you need a particular pack to... Um, to play in order to get it but because you know we have our let's go to one of the one of the um original worlds because ones that come with a stuff pack or a game pack or whatever expansion will have a, a thing next to it a icon so the ones that don't have an icon are ones that you will get with the base game so let's move them into a base game home. Let's see, Oasis Springs, we don't want, we want the desert. If you have the desert, you don't get to play with all four seasons. And I think I want them to. So if you go into something, you don't like it, you can always go back. We'll go to Willow Creek. Willow Creek. So when you start off, you have a certain amount of funds. If it's just a sim by themselves, it's 20,000 simoleons. A sim and an animal is 22. A sim, if it, the bigger your, your family is, the more simoleons you get to start with. But seeing it's just Vincent and Yogi, it's going to be 22 simoleons. 
So when you look on the world map, you'll see there's lots of different things going on. Um, areas with icons like these, those are um, non-residential lots. And so your sim can visit those, but they can't live on them. The lots with green around it means it lots that they can afford. Right? Um, the lots with the white around it, that means it's occupied. And some, and you will also get an, an empty lot as well, so that you can build your own house if that's what you want to do. I'm rubbish at building. I usually go in to an existing house and start from there. So, um, let's see. I think this one, because when you hover over, it also tells you what you have. So this is one bedroom, one bathroom. This is one bedroom, one bathroom. This is two bedroom, one bathroom. This one might be better because then we have a spare bedroom for whatever. So then you click on the, uh, the lot that you want and you click on confirm. And then it would give you this little screen and it said they're moving. Now, do you want your house furnished, which it has everything there for you? Or do you want it unfurnished, which means it will take out all the furniture and just have the house? Or do you want to bulldoze the lot? which means you just end up with an empty lot and you can build for yourself. It's up to you. I usually go for furnish and then I just pick and choose what I want. Obviously, depending on which option you pick, you have more or less money to pay with. So if it's unfurnished, you have more money left over, but then you have to use that money to buy your essentials. If you bulldoze the lot, you are left with even less because you have nothing. Less, sorry, less, you're left with even more because you have nothing and you have to start from scratch. But I'm going to go in fully furnished. Purchase home, and again you get another loading screen. So your game starts, and your sims are outside. They will already have a relationship. It will start off with a relationship, so at least it's, you know that you've got a basis to play with, but we're going to pause right there. And this is where, actually, Vincent, just pick up Yogi and bring her inside. Um, pick up. And, but this is where we're going to stop. And our first day in the house that's going to be the next episode because this episode has been quite long but then creating a sim and explaining everything it's going to take a bit longer than you know the usual stuff but oh they just became friends awesome but, um but yes in the next episode we'll talk about let's pause you right there we'll talk about the lot how you can about buying things for your house furnishing the house adding subtracting whatever you want to do with it and also camera controls because it can be a bit of a pain trying to find the perfect angle to you know to look at your sim and see what they're doing and that kind of thing so that's what we're going to do in the next episode so that's it for this episode please like comment and subscribe for more great content it will help to grow my channel Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.